So, right, let's just say we're going to make up a pair of glasses to this prescription. So toric lens is a plus 125 minus 1 at axis 45 in the right eye and in the left eye it's plus 2.75 minus 075 axis 173. So we need to go through now the process of how to mark these lenses up. It's very important that we learn how to use the facimeter and uh, to mark those lenses up accurately. Now when you look in the facimeter you will see this. Uh, this is a, a, a scale that's inside the machine. Remember the facimeter measures the focal length of the lens and by doing so it determines the power. So if there's no lens in there what you will find is that you will you'll need to focus it. You'll see that there is some blurring in the middle but when you focus it using the power dial you'll get a very sharp circular image here and you will have a power reading in a window underneath of 0, 0.00. That's when there's no lenses in there. So if you'd like to look at the facimeter here, this is the power dial. You switch it on, I then focus using this dial and I've now got very clear dots in a nice circle right in the middle of the target up here and underneath when I look in here there is a window which has got 0, 0.00 so there's no lens in there but the facimeter is measuring plano at the moment. We then need to get the lens and we're going to start with the right lens so here we have the lens we got plus 1.25 minus 1 Remember we were learning in, in the video on transposition that you can write a toric lens in two different ways. You've got minus cell and you've got plus cell. So both of these relate to the same lens but they're just two different ways of writing it. And I tend to work in minus cell form so um, we, we're just going to concentrate on plus one two five minus one. Now I want to show you how to use the facimeter and the best way to do it, if you're not familiar with this, is to do it sort of in a systematic way. And what I would do is I would first of all set the axis, which is 45. Now this dial here on this particular facimeter adjusts the axis. So you set the axis at 45 degrees. So what you're doing, what I'm looking at in here, is this line here, this is the axis direction and when I move this dial, this, this dial moves. So I've set it at 45 which is um, here, so it's going up in that direction there. And you can see that when you, when you look through there, that the axis is now facing in that direction which is 45. The other part of the scale is now moving that way and you'll notice that they're 90 degrees to each other just like that and you've got these these prism measuring lines as well. So when I look through here I can now see this. The axis is now facing 45 degrees which is what we want. So I've set the axis and I don't need to do anything else. Now let's set the power and the power that you want to see in this window is the sum of these two powers and we went through this when we were doing transposition. When the signs are different you take the smaller number away from the larger number but you keep the sign of the bigger number. So you've got 1.25 minus 1 which leaves you with 0 0.25 but you've got a plus so we know that there is a plus in there. So it's plus 0.25. So I'm going to set the facimeter now to plus 0.25, which is right there. That's fine. And, and the image inside the facimeter goes all blurry, so you can't see it. Now, you then put the lens onto the facimeter and this is where you've got to now rotate the lens to get the right orientation. 
So we put the lens so it's in the middle. You then look through there and I can see the, the there's an image in there which is nice and sharp but the lines are facing the wrong direction. So in order to get the axis right you don't touch anything else on the machine you just turn the lens until all the lines are facing the direction of the axis which is there. So I'm, what I'm seeing inside here is a lot of lines facing the direction of the axis. So the image in here is now facing 45 degrees. Because we have a high sill, a, a one sill, these lines are quite long. If you had a, a, a much smaller sill, there would be just tiny little lines. So an 025 um, sill, would, the image would be like this. And if you've got a bigger cell, like a minus two, they'll be very long. So you'd end up with very long lines like that. And then you've just got to make sure that those lines are sharp and that they're facing the direction of the axis that you want. So I've got the lens now set up in exactly the right place. We've got 0.25 showing in the power. We've got the axis direction facing 45. And it's nicely in the middle of the target as well. So that means the optical center of the lens is right in the middle. So I'm going to now just mark that lens up. It's ready to go. So that's, that's great. So I'm just going to mark it with the uh, lens marker. Now if you don't have an ink um, marker on the facimeter, you might have to just use one of these pens and just do it by eye and just be as, as accurate as you can. Just put a couple of dots you know, where you think the center of the lens is either side and then that will help you stick to the right axis so but I've got the ink on here so that's fine so you've got these three dots and uh, we now need to mark the lens up ready to cut so to do that what I would do is use a ruler just to draw those lines maybe keep the central, the central one free, and I would draw an arrow. This is a right lens. So draw an arrow there pointing that way, and I'll explain that in a moment. And then we draw a horizontal line there where the optical center is. So this lens is ready to mark up. So we can do that one. Now we're going to do the left lens. lens. So we've got plus 275 minus 075 which is what we've got on the lens packet here so we're going to do exactly the same thing again um, so let's just go through what we did for the right this is the left eye first of all we set the axis using this dial here okay we set the axis we want an axis of 173 so I'm going to sort the axis out now so we got that's set now at 173. So when I look through there, we've got a line going from there like that, just below the zero. Okay, so this is axis 173. And if we go 90 degrees to that, we've got, a, um, we've got 83. Remember, this is always 90 degrees to each other. And we've got that sort of arrangement. So when you look through the facimeter now for the left eye, I've set it with the axis at 173, which is what we want. We now need to do the same here with the power. We need to put the correct power in there. So if you add these two together, you've got plus 275, minus 075, or plus minus 075. You know what we said? If the signs are different, we take this smaller number away from the bigger number and then we keep the sign of the bigger number. So the sign is a plus and 275 minus 075 gives me a plus 2. So I want to find plus 2. I want to change the power dial on the facimeter to get plus 2. So I've now got plus 2 in the power 
and I've got an axis of 173. So I know the fosimeter is ready. I don't have to change anything on the fosimeter. I put the lens on and what I've got to do now is to rotate the lens so that those long lines are facing in the direction of the 173 and those lines need to be nice and sharp. So I've got some nice sharp lines there and I've just rotated it and now that all of those lines that I can see are actually facing this direction. So we've got an image looking through there of those long lines facing the 173 degree angle there. So I know that this lens is now correctly positioned. The orientation is absolutely right. Using the ink marker we put the three dots on there and then we're now ready to do what we did for the right eye. So we're going to use this to draw the horizontal, the verti horizontal line and then the vertical line is like this. That's the optical center. We draw an arrow this time because it's a left lens we write L there and N there. That is how you want to mark your lenses up before you cut them. You know which way to decenter them and now I'm going to explain decentration because we need to make sure that these optical centers are positioned in front of the pupil of the, of the patient. And uh, we're now going to quickly look at decentration.